The year was 1995. My parents set a six-year-old in front of the television to be babysat by a cheesy Christian Western. Little did they know that would lead to a decision I would make that would later change thousands of lives forever. 1995 was also the year that Denny Patton started the nationally known ministry, The Silver Ring Thing. The Silver Ring Thing is an abstinence ministry telling young people it's okay to be different and wait until marriage to have sex. I got the honor and privilege of spending 2012 and 2013 traveling and preaching with these guys. We got to travel to 30 plus states and I personally got the privilege of leading over 6,000 young people to Jesus. I like to think of it as a sports team, right? And when we're on a sports team, in order to be successful at that sport, we have to give control to the coach. Jesus, he's our coach, and if we do what he says, we'll be successful at this thing called purity. He wants to walk through life with you, but you have to let him. There's no one here tonight, there's not a person in here tonight, who is too dirty or too messed up or have done too many things wrong that they can't start over tonight. Anyone and everyone can be forgiven, can start over, can have a relationship with the Heavenly Father, with God. Now I'm on staff here at Metro City Church in Taylor, Michigan as the assistant to the youth pastor and the children's director. And my ministry may have changed for the time being, but the vision and the mission for my life are still the same. See, I believe that every young person is searching for something and longing for someone. I also believe that they're searching for God and that most of them just don't know it yet. When my mom left, I started searching for things. I started looking to drugs and alcohol. I tried all these different things, and the only thing that really sustains in your life is a relationship with Jesus. He died for us. He died for us, and that's not even the best part of the story, oh no, because Jesus, they took his body off the cross and they put it in a grave, and then three days later, he rose from the grave, and he beat sin and death and hell, and then he ascended to heaven, and now he sits at the right hand of God, and he's the reason you're here tonight. Jeremiah 29:11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for good, not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. My hope is that through relevant teachings and a variety of different stories, I can come alongside you in leading young people to Jesus and helping them get closer to Him.